a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the uh, Gullah people of South Carolina. Right there. It's the New Testament as uh, they transcribed it, translated, trans something it from the uh, King James Version of the Holy Bible. As you, as you can, well, you'll see the the way they put out the Gullah Bible or the New Testament is they have the Gullah in this bolder, well, bigger font, and then the small font is the Old English, you know, the um, Christopher Marlowe, Shakespeare kind of English kind of thing. And um, we just go to any page. Hey, five ninety nine sounds like a good page, as we do every week. And this is a well. In fact, let's this this go right, 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 right to the top. No, it's not go to the top. Let's go to to uh, First Corinthians fifteen, and we'll go to two. Okay, well, need my glasses to read. What's the font? Is the way the font is two. They would what I uh, tell honor that the good news and that good news ya the save honor if honor still yet keep on the member um e honor had kept of honor believe be a uh, bleeby honor thing that ain't worth nothing. This is a difficult one. Uh, and the translation is, as you may, well, this is this is Saturday. So I, Sabbath. <laughs> so I explain what I do right now. Uh, what what I'm trying to do is connect with my Gullah, my, my, my Gullah roots from my maternal side. And what I've um, deemed what I do is I basically uh, read from the Bible every day. Well, most days, sometimes I miss a day or two, but usually a day and then on Sundays on Sundays on Saturdays well on Sundays I don't read it at all uh, uh, that uh, that that sermon is called the Sunday sermons well that comes from the, my uh, my text my scripture which is uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book uh, Penn Story Concept well, Penn Story Concept you know that book don't you know that book yeah look it's right here well this is the um this is the 2016 edition of it, right? I actually have it, the the um, uh, 1984 edition uh, down there in South Africa. We read from that, but I have this up here, and also, uh, well, I have it up here. So that's the book we read. That's that's our book. That's our scripture. Now this is um, this get me in touch with my um, my my Gullah my Gullah roots my Gullah Geechee roots, right? And like what they. When they were freed from from slavery, what what was their process? You know, how did they, you know, um, learn? How did they become literate so so quickly? Okay, so so but this one's a particularly difficult one. But here's the translation again. We're on page five ninety nine, First Corinthians fifteen. This is two, uh, or well, uh, this is two. But which ye but which also ye are saved, if ye keep. In memory, what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. Okay, and uh, again, the reading goes like I do word what I tell on a, that the good news, and that good news, ya the save honor, if honor still yet keep on the member, um, e on uh, honor have kept. If honor believe on a thing that ain't worth nothing. And again, the translation is, uh, this is uh, two, uh, chapter 15, 2. By which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. Keep in memory. Not to write it down. That's 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 good. Um, so that's 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 the reading for for today. Like I to say, this is a Sabbath day, and now usually what I do is I break down the set. Well, tell you what I'm doing, which what I told you already. What I'm doing, which is I'm connected to my Gullah Geechee um, roots, and uh, from South. Well, I'm from South. My 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 
my great grandfather was uh, was Gullah, married to a uh, a Mohawk Indian woman. But you know all those things down there. There's a lot of mixture with the Indians and the and the, and the, and the Gullah Geechee. And then the, the language, of course, not only in South Carolina, but it's also in uh, in Georgia and along the coastal kind of things like that. Uh, but what I do on on uh, on Saturdays, and I, of course, I read from the from. The, I've got to get another copy of this too because I want to leave this in the states and. Yeah, leave this to and, and take the one with me to South Africa before I leave. And uh, in fact, since this is a Sabbath, <laughs> see, oh, by the way, so I look, see, this is this, this is the cap I wear. I try to look ecumenical, you know, and this is this is kente cloth. That um, that particular one, I, I forgot where I picked it up from, but um, well, there's all kinds of kente cloth, and I particularly always kept, somehow got this colors. And uh, and this is my what I call my Ogun cap. Um, and as you can see, it's green, and then it's, it's black on the other side. It's reversible. It's black on the other side, and it's got this little red star there. And that's uh, Ogun's color in North America. See, because in, in uh, oh, oh, sorry, I'm a child of Ogun, and what happens is it, it comes from the Yoruba culture of, of Nigeria, uh, West Africa, if you will. And when it's there, it was it was blue. That was, Ogun's color is blue, but when it went to uh, Brazil, the colors changed for some reason to blue and white. And then when it traveled through uh, Santeria up to, because this kind of blame thing, when it went to Santeria, uh, going through Cuba up to North America, the colors changed again to red, black, and green, which is kind of re weirdly interesting because, you know, red, black, and green, that's the liberation colors, right? That's also, uh, and again, the, the the green, the black, with dash of red is uh, Ogun's color. Ogun is the uh, the, the Orisha of, of, of basically well, war. I would say conflict, but he's like war, war. You know, you don't, you don't mess with Ogun unless you, you know, you want to get serious. And uh, so, like I said, I look ecumenical like this, and I got my little ecumenical. In fact, from that ecumenical, let me, let me. And since it's Saturday, we need to break this thing down. I got some wine. I got some wine from called Pe Petite Petite. I don't know. Um, yeah, I put my glasses on. All right, you know. Hey, look, I come from, I grew up Catholic. And, you know, there's sacraments and all that stuff. A Michael David joint. Oh, this kind of, so I wonder if this Michael David is black. I don't know why I say a Michael David joint. Uh, world's strongest man. Oh, they got a little thing like that. And anyway, this is a Shiraz. I like Shiraz. This is Shiraz wine. Uh, let's see, where did I say it's Shiraz? Well, it's around here someplace. This is Shiraz wine. Let me take it. Yeah. Uh, to 2019, Petite Shiraz. I don't know what Lodi uh, Appalachian means, but Vinted and Wine Bottle by David Winery, American Canyon, California. I got to find out who this Michael David is because he's using the, the word joint, which is like, you know, it's a black word like that. So let me just pour some so I can be officially like, um, I always do that on my wine bottles. Usually I'm the only one drinking out of the bottle. I say, well, what about the backwash? Oh, I get the backwash. Okay, so I'll oh, take this back off. Uh, so that's so that's that's how I dress and I drink Shiraz. Actually, I like I like Primitivo better, but I couldn't find it. Well, I'm not really drinking these days. I haven't really <laughs> drank. I I had some um, Guinness is the beer I drink, but I haven't had that in days. And I got this yesterday, day before yesterday. I don't know. You know, I'm a I'm a sparse drinker. You know. Ah, but I like the Shiraz. Um, also the set. So, um, so here as you see the this flag here, this banner, banner flag, whatever they're going. This is um done by uh, an African American uh, artist, and he was did some sort of biannual thing. So I I like that. I particularly like this flag. Anyway, it looks like that. That cat there, this uh, comes from a calendar, and it was just a scholar. So I just I like the guy, scholar. I like scholarship. So. I put them on the on the set. Then, of course, in Africa before it got carved up by the Europeans, you know, carving up to eat to eat the minerals and stuff like that. Because you know, when you eat, you're supposed to ingest minerals. So they carved it up so they can have the nourishment of Africa, and then they they poop it out in their in their in their factories, whatever they do up in their, in, their, in their things, and they then then serve it back <laughs> to the world. You know, so basically, no, we won't get into all that. Of course, that's my last name, Dan Sloan. Which means warrior or goon warrior get the whole thing black black. black, black, black. 
like that. Oh, up there, up top, all the way up top there. That's uh, that's me and and uh, she's conspiring. Looks like she's we're in a conspiracy there. So I sort of like that right there. That's just a, a random roster, you know, right there. The, the, what connects the two is this, this hat that I'm wearing. I might make a series with this. What am I doing? Well, I might make a series with this hat that I'm wearing right now because um, I also have the hat right there. When with with, come on, move up, move the way, like yeah. See, that's me and my wife and Alice, and I'm having a hat there. Right? And so we're there like that. And uh, oh, the little girl, that's his. Uh, this guy here. Yeah, and that's his daughter, like that, and that's me with the uh, with the Zulu headdress. Uh, cause this guy here, that he's he's Zulu, right? He's he's everything Zulu. So he, so he gifted me that along with the vest that's in the back here. See the vest in the back of the chair. Oh, that's my normal radio, um, uh, stitched uh, banner. I guess you will mini banner that my wife made for me, um. That's why I'm looking on this wall here like that. Um, oh, and that's this. Oh, this is just a zebra. I guess I get I get the zebra because it matches the the um, uh, the thing that uh, that the brother, one well, of the Zulu brother, gave me. His name is Sikalela, by the way. Uh, and um, so that's a zebra. That, it, it, that's a zebra that holds the, uh, um, the the cell phones and stuff like that, so you can do your thing. And that's that's just an article on Henry Dumas, who's uh, one of my favorite authors like that. And on this side here, you have my grand nephew's always on my right side, over my right shoulder. And he has a he has the power sign, because, you know, we didn't tell him to do that. He just did that. Hey, he has a lineage too, man. He's 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 got he's got gullah in him also. So maybe he's preparing himself for later life. <laughs> so that's the set so that's the set. And every 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 side I explain the whole thing to you. And what I'm trying to do is, if I'm, I'm trying to do is, uh, basically, um, during the week, just do the hit the hit the scriptures real real quick, boom, 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 and then Saturday take the time to explain, right? So that's what I try to do, and um, and it's working out pretty well. I got my momentum going, but now I got momentum changes wherever I'm going in, in on the planet. So this is this is just the setup here in Virginia. Um, what else I have to tell you? That's it. So. That's it for me, T from the Patterson, taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.